want to stay competitive in the manufacturing space, you need to be thinking about automation. Uh, and Richard, we've come to Ward High Tech. We've been here so many times before looking at your fantastic, robust machinery. It's known for being very reliable, but we've not looked at any of your automation packages before, have we? Yeah, this is one of our entry-level robot tending system using the collaborative robot as opposed to a full industrial robot. And what are the differences between a collaborative and an industrial robot? The big things really is the simplicity of the collaborative robot and the price. There's a huge difference in price. An industrial robot can be almost double the price of our package. Uh, there's a lot more equipment involved, a lot more um, safety, which we offer a very cost-effective package. And that's cost-effective not just in the actual equipment, but the preparation of the machine, the ease of use, and also the safety. And we'll dig into the technicals a little bit later, but why would someone need automation, first of all? Okay, the, the main benefits of automation is that this is why we call it a machine tending process, because really what we're doing is loading the parts in and out of the chuck. It's very efficient, it's as probably as close as what you can get to 100% efficiency. There's none of the usual things of, of what the man, he needs to go to the restroom, he has holidays, you know, he rings in sick. This is a, a process which looks after simply the loading and unloading of the part. And with everything else around that, we've made so simple. Brilliant, and uh, simplicity is key with automation because it can be quite a complex and a, and a daunting thing to take on. Yes. But what about safety? I mean, that is probably one of the first things that businesses think about when they imagine a robot on the shop floor that yeah. is going to be waving, waving components around. Well, for us at Ward High Tech, we take safety incredibly seriously. And what we do is we work with external CE companies who take an overview of our package and recommend any specific areas or give us an overall certificate of incorporation so we can pass that on to customers and they're perfectly catered for then for anything that may happen in the future. Absolutely. And what does that mean in practice though? Let's have, if we have a look at the machines all behind us, what uh, components of the, in, of the automation um, make sure that it's, it's compliant? Yeah. Well, one of the things that we've got, a, we feel we've got a very good package is the machine auto door. Um, this is connected and operated by a signal from the robot. And without the robot in place, the machine just works as a normal door. So you can open and close it. So what that means is that we don't need high-end safety on the door because on, normally on an industrial machine, you'd need very elaborate safety just when the operator is working the door just to put a new tip in the machine. We don't have to do that. What we've done is we've fitted a sick sensor to give us extra peace of mind. And I'll show you in a moment that if I stand too close to the robot, it will automatically stop. Okay, so you walk into the laser, then the laser turns red, and this actually stops the robot from yes, doing anything. That's right. And now if I move away again, after a two I second dwell, then it starts all over and again. And it starts all over again. No alarms, no problems. Very, very easy. Okay, and so safe. operators don't have to worry about moving around the robot. No. They know that if they get too close, then it's going to stop and it's not going to be a, a hazard. Absolutely correct, Ron. And what about the day-to-day -day benefits? Aside from the mm -hmm. ROI, um, I'm thinking changing jobs, moving. Can you move the robot between machines, for example? Yes. Um, if we had a, a situation where a potential customer wanting to share the robot between three machine tools. Let's assume that they're all similar lathes. Um, we would equip each machine with an auto door function, but then the whole robot and table, which is a complete unit, can be simply transferred from one to other to the machine. And providing the basic interface is there, which would normally take from start to finish two or three hours, but on a machine where it's been done before, it's very, very easy to switch around so that people can benefit where their production is. If they've suddenly got a long running job on machine A, they can run those parts out because they'll probably run those parts out far quicker than a man loading by hand would do. 
and then the machine C has got a high running job, move it around again. So the, the, the benefits are unlimited. Yeah, and also if you needed to do like a one-off, you can stop the robot, go in, do your yeah, one-off, do your right. little fudging, whatever you need to, and then get your, your, yes. your high volume batch back on again. That's right, yeah. The I robot can, is there to help, not to take over, you know, not to make the, the balance of the machine for everyday work so complicated, you can't get anywhere near the machine. You can see the basic layout, there's nothing in the way. It's so easy. But what about if it's a daunting idea for someone to take on a brand new piece of technology that they don't know, uh, they, they don't know much about? How can you make sure that their training is, 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 is right and they can make you best use of the equipment? We found that in experience that we take a very flexible attitude to the training and we teach the people in short bites. This equipment is so simple. There is not a program you have to change, for instance, for the robot each time. You just teach it the position of the first part and then simply by simple mathematics and describing the number of rows of parts you have on the table, that's it, done. And after that, it's just really a give, building up the confidence. So we probably do it for get one, the jo first job going, then leave them, then come back and do the second job. But it's not unusual for people to have done seven different jobs by themselves in the first week and we probably only help them on the first couple. And if some, someone's watching this video and they're interested in um, the automation services from Ward High Tech yeah. and call you up today, what could you offer them? Yeah. We can typically put a package, a physical package, within a month on the machine. The actual installation part is hours, not days. Very, very quick. But for people who've got a different style of requirement, then we have successfully done a number of industrial robot installations. One of our customers in the northwest of England have got uh, four different cells of Dali machining centers, each one having an industrial ABB robot with it. So we've got a lot of in-depth knowledge here at Ward High Tech.